Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create some designs in Microsoft Word and then export those designs so that they can be placed on some merchandise in a free platform where you can sell those items. To create a design, we can either use all of the tools within Word or we can use some free assets from the internet. So let's hop onto the internet and if you go to this website here, I'll put a link in the description below. And what this allows you to do is to search for any kind of design. So let's, for example, put in cat and it will give you all of these free silhouette designs. So there's not a lot of color to these designs, but what they do have, as you can see, is a transparent background. So to be able to put things onto a merchant piece of merchandise, you have to have this transparent background. If you want a different color, you can click on any one of these color options at the top. We're gonna to stick with black at the moment. And then you can simply scroll through all the designs to find one that you want. So I'm gonna select this one here. So I'm gonna click on it. And then I'm going to go to download PNG. That's now downloaded. So if I go back to Word, I go to insert, picture, picture from file, go to my downloads and select the image and then click insert. When you insert an image into Word, you can't move it. So select it, go to picture format, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. And this will now allow you to move that picture around and also to resize it. Now you can export this just as this silhouette if you want to, or you can put an extra piece of design in the background or you can put some text. So what I'm gonna show you now is how to put a simple design in the background, how to then group everything together and export that as a design that you can place onto merchandise. So I'm gonna move this down, go to insert, click on the drop down, and select the rectangle. Click and draw out a rectangle. And with every shape, it comes with a border line and a fill color. So I'm just going to get rid of that border line. So select it and go to shape format. Go to this icon here, which is the outline. Click on the drop down and select no outline. And then we can select the color now, or we can come back when we've made more of these rectangles to select the various colors. So all I'm going to do now is just copy and paste this shape. So the quickest way to do it is to select it, hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag. Now it's selected two, so I'm going to copy two. And I just want one more, so I'm going to deselect those two, reselect one, hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag. Now I don't want too much of a space between these. So I'm just gonna roughly space them quite close together. Then I'm going to select them all by holding down my command or control key and selecting them all. Go to align, select distribute vertically, which will mean they're equally spaced, and then align, align to center, and now they're all perfectly lined up to the edges. Now I'm going to change the colors. So I'm gonna select my first rectangle, go to shape fill, and here I've got a series of colors, or I can go to more fill colors and select something from this color wheel. And I can use this lighten and darken slider, or I can move this cursor around the color wheel. Your selected color will be here. So all I'm going to do now, I'm just gonna go back to my colors. I have some recent colors here. So I'm gonna select the top one here, and then just move down and continue to select the colors that you want. Once you're happy with those colors, you can then move your design on top. As you can see, it's gone behind at the moment. So I'm going to select this design, go to picture format, go to bring forward, click on the drop down and select bring to front. Then I'm going to move the design on top. Now this works very well if you want a square as the background, but if you want a circle, what you're going to have to do is select all of these rectangles, again, holding down that command or control key, go to shape format, go to group and select group, and then right click, go down to save as picture, save your picture. I'm going to save mine to my desktop, save it as a PNG file, which is this drop down here, 
and then click Save. We'll just move this down for a second. Go to Insert, Picture, Picture from File, and then select your picture and click Insert. Once you've selected your image, we need to ensure that we've cropped it to the edges. There's no white around the edge. Let's just zoom in. You can see there's just a tiny bit of white at the edge of this. So all we need to do is to go to crop, just click on the crop here, and you can just move those lines in slightly so there's no white showing at the edges. Press enter, then go to crop, and then simply crop to circle. Then you can move your design over the top and you can resize it. And then you need to group everything together. I'm going to get rid of this bottom section now because we no longer need it. So now I'm going to make sure that's all lined up. And the way to do that is to go up to picture format. If it's not there, it's because you haven't selected anything. Go to selection pane. This will show you everything you've inserted into Word. So you can see the picture is the line and picture 18 is the circle. So select both of those, then go to align, click on the drop down. Go to align to center and align to middle. So that will then ensure everything's perfectly lined up. Then go to group and select group. And now you can see you have your design, but we do have an awful lot of white around the outside. Now I can't crop it. You can see here the crop tool is grayed out. So once again, I'm going to have to export it, right click, go to save as picture, export it again as a PNG file to your desktop and I'm going to say replace and then I'm just going to move this out of the way and that's just in case we make a mistake or want to edit it. I'm going to go to insert, picture, picture from file, select my picture again and click insert and then I'm going to go to the crop tool and I'm going to crop out as much of this white as possible. Try and make the edges equal. Then press enter and then right click, go down to save as picture. Once again, you can save this as whatever you like. I'll save it to my desktop again as a PNG file and click save. Again, I'm going to replace it. And that will now mean that I have my design on my desktop as a PNG design I can use anywhere. So now if I go onto the internet and I go to a site called redbubble.com, this is a free platform. You can just sign up with an email with a free account and you can simply upload your designs onto a variety of different merchandise, including t-shirts. So I have a simple account here and I can go down to add new work. I can go to upload new work. I can click on my picture and click upload. So once my design has been uploaded, I need to go ahead and fill out all of these options here. Once I've done that, you can now go ahead and select all of the different merchandise that you would like to sell online. Where it's green, you've enabled that product and where it's not green, you've actually disabled the product. So if we wanted to sell this t-shirt online, we needed to enable it, turning it green. And we can also edit this design as well. We can click on edit. You can see the t-shirt here. You can scale the image to make it bigger or smaller. We can center it horizontally and vertically. But if we don't like that, we can move it around and just make sure it's centered horizontally and then we can click apply changes. The same goes for many of the other merchandise if you feel like it's too big or too small. So for example here, you can edit the phone case, you can reduce the size of it, make sure it's centered and click apply changes. This does actually have a live preview. So as you can see, that's a little bit too big. And if we just downsize it a little, once you're happy, just click apply changes and you can see it's applied that change to the phone case. Once you've finished, go down to the bottom. You need to select what sort of design it is. It's a photograph or a painting. Here it will select design and illustration. Then make sure all of this is checked and that anybody can view your work. If it's not of a mature nature, just click no and then simply press save your work. Once you've saved your work, you can then go onto your shop. 
So if I just scroll up and I go over to my account here and click your shop, I'm going to leave this page. This is my shop and you can see all the different items that I have in my shop. And at the side here, you can click on clothing and you can see all the different designs that are in that shop. Then what you'll need to do is you'll come up with a marketing strategy where you can drive traffic towards your shop. You can advertise this on Facebook, you can advertise it on other social media platforms, or you can pay for advertising through Redbubble. That's completely your choice. But so far, all of this is for free and you can use the online tools to allow you to create these free designs. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.